Hey YouTube, what's up? General Tony here, coming back with another fantastic troll base video today. So we're going straight into the first live raid, guys. This is the best raid, best troll base design that I have ever part made. This is mainly White Lightning HWD inspired, guys. I'm sure you all know him. If you don't, check him out. I'll probably try and remember to link his channel below. Anyway, this guy's coming at me with a uh, Max Loon, some high level minions. He's got his queen, he's got a hill spell rage, he's got some giants, archers, and his clan castle. And this guy manages to get something crazy like 17%. The raid's got to follow straight in front of you guys, just watch it as it does. He's uh, what, Right now what he's doing is just picking off some buildings around the outside, but he's testing the center now guys. So let's just see what he does. Dropping in his uh, couple of archers, just some of his basic troops into the center to begin with. And then he's going to do his mass balloons into the center and they get absolutely ripped to shreds. As I said guys, this space was uh, on White Lightning HWD's channel. I had something similar to it, but I watched his video and I was like, damn, if I put um, a wall around the center of my base and just enclose everyone in and keep the expos inside of there, they're very high hit points, so the uh, enemy attack, the enemy troops are going to have to hit, hit them quite a lot to be able to destroy them. So he's moved his uh, balloons in, and then as you can see, my traps are sent to air, so they're up just picking some of them off. The, the queen literally destroyed them. Wizard Towers went to work, Archer Towers, Air Defences of course, so all of his balloons are pretty much down, he sent in that last little group there, and then he's also dropped his minions in some of them in as well, he's got his queen, he's going to drop her down pretty soon, along with the actual clan castle, just to see what damage he can do, but he literally, get ripped, he literally gets ripped apart, there's no nothing around it. So there we go, the clan castle's dropped in, in goes the queen, so we've got literally all of the uh, defences, none, none really have been taken out so far, a couple of the Teslas, just two of them, two are still up, Wizard Tower going to work as quick as possible. Air Defense has taken out those minions. The Queen is going down so fast. He raises her up just to get the Town Hall. He was so lucky to get that Town Hall. It was on 17%. And he only managed to get something like 160,000 loot. Of course, there was so much more available. Here we go, guys. This is defense number two. As you can see, I left a lot of the uh, little gravestones around the base just to kind of distract the enemy and make them think that there are troops there. They decided to try and draw out the clan castle first. This is a very low attacker this time, guys. He's only got level 3 and 4 troops. He's got level 1 healers and minions, and his king is only level 2. So I'm not really going to expect a lot here. Let's see what he does anyway. See what he manages to conjure up. He does get the loss, I'm going to tell you that right here, right now. He doesn't even manage the 1 star. Obviously, to 1 star a base like this with the troops that he's got, he would have had to be very lucky. I don't know how he would have done it, to be honest. Anyway, he's going around the base just trying to take out these, uh, these wizards. And just the wizards alone are causing him so much problems. Like, he's literally doing barely any damage to these wizards. There's two of them sitting there. Go on, go on, you little glitcher. Zap, why aren't you zapping, boy? There we go, a couple of barbarians down on the wiz, wiz, wizards them away. What's he going to drop now? Is he going to take out the last wizard? Is he going to take it out? Yep, okay, he's taking it out. There we go. All of my clan castles down. The mortar's just dropping in a heavy bomb over there. Let's see if he's going to come into the center. I can't remember where from uh, the angle he actually attacks from. So where's he going to come in from? Where are you coming from, boy? He's probably thinking, there we go. Okay, so he's attacking from the bottom right corner of the base. Is that it? Yep, that is it. So he's dropped his uh, giants in, dropped some of his wall breakers. The damage they do to these walls is ridiculous. And there is only level 8 walls as well. That's why you need to upgrade your... Uh, Wall breakers fast as well. He's dropped his king in as well, probably as a distraction. Following him with some minions. He probably just wants maybe one of these elixir storage in the, and then he's happy with that. I mean, that elixir storage probably has about 100k inside of it, if not more, because that one's not fully upgraded. So there's probably around at least 100 to 110k inside of that elixir storage, so he'd be very happy with that, I'm sure. So he's just trying to get a couple of minions to it if he can, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen. He's used a heal spell, he still has two left, they're only level threes, but they do do I think about 12 to 1400 heal or something like that. So his giants are getting healed up there, there's only the Terza and the Expos on it, he's taken down that Archer Tower. As soon as his uh, air defense here goes down, he has the free uh, freedom to just attack that elixir storage as much as he wants. The Expos are set to ground for the simple fact that this is a huge base, and I wanted them to have range over quite a large area of it rather than setting them to uh, air and ground as I feel that it wouldn't be, have been as effective as it is just set to ground. Anyway, he's moved the healer in. The healer is, uh, what level is that? Level 1 healer, so she should go down pretty quickly. The minions have made it to the elixir storage, so there we go. He's basically got his little bit of free loot there. Obviously not free, but you know what I mean. There's nothing on him. Nothing's going to take him down. Looking across the base, he could have potentially attacked from this side instead just to get the uh, elixir storage if he had the possibility of doing it, but I highly doubt it. 
Anyway, he's pretty much ended the raid there. He's got a couple of minions left. He doesn't manage to get the 50%, and it's a second victory for me. So, so far, this troll base is doing very good. 26 cups plus. Don't forget, guys, I am doing a slow push to champions, so this is always beneficial for me. Going into raid number three, guys. So, this guy's got four lightning spells. His queen and uh, level 6 archers and barbarians, so they are basic troops, but he has got a lot of them, so I think this guy attacks from the center, there we go, spawning in those level 6 barbs pretty quickly, the uh, archer towers, the uh, mortars, the expos, everything is going to work on those barbarians, a massive big bomb there just blows up quite a lot of them, really when you're uh, attacking troll bases, you should drop like at least 10 barbarians around the center area just to test for the actual bombs and stuff, a lot of people don't do it, I don't know why it's like the most simple thing in the world, You've got the two Teslas popped up now, distracting from the uh, Dark Elixir. Is he going to attack from somewhere else? Yes, he is. So he's used these archers on the outside to distract the mortar, just so he could pick off that Elixir storage, which is very smart. And he does the exact same here. He picks off that Elixir storage, which is pretty smart, to be, there, to be fair to him. He probably doesn't care about the win or the loss. But after this raid, I did actually move the Elixir storages one back into the center of this area here, so they can't do that from now on. I would suggest doing that, guys. He literally just dropped three of his lightning spells. Is he going to hit the fourth? Of course he is. Where's he going to drop it? Probably on the Dark Elixir again. There we go. So he managed to get 900 Dark Elixir from there. Almost 1,000 from four lightning spells, which is insane. He got some of the Elixir there as well, guys. 235,000 Elixir later and almost 1,000 DE as well. Mind you, I still got 17 cups out of it. I did say in a previous video, guys, troll bases are the number one base to use if you're trying to push cups. Obviously not in Champions League, but I mean from like gold through to maybe masters, they are probably one of the best bases to use. I'm going to test them in Champions League, hopefully once I get there one day as well. As ever, guys, all good things have to come to an end, and this, unfortunately, is one of those days. This guy destroyed the base. He has level 7 giants, so I couldn't really expect much more. He's got healers and heal spells. They're level 6 healers. Oh, sorry, level 4 healers, level 6 heal spells. This is going to be so hard to take down, especially with an air defense that's already upgrading. So I'm already in air defense down. Obviously, the air bombs, air mines don't hit the healers anymore, so the only thing that's going to be able to take them out are actual defenses. These giants are just way too strong for my base. I mean, the archer towers can't deal with them. The archer queen manages to take up this whole pack of giants though on her own, pretty much, along with the expo, obviously. But she picks off every single one of them. She then takes the uh, healer out. I oh, know the healer was taken out by something else, but she probably picks off those giants there. But there's just hordes of them over here, another two packs going in for the air defenses. Once the air defenses are down, nothing really going to pick off those healers. Sending in his little uh, little gold ball carrier. Look at that. Gonna... Oh, I didn't realize they dropped the ball. I think they blew up with him. So he dropped the ball. You got the archers going around the outside, just cleaning up the base. So this guy's already on 32%, and these giants are just making their way around. There's one more air defense here, but it's nowhere near in range so far. Hopefully it gets into range soon. We'll see how it goes. But the giants are going for with the giants hitting it at the same time as well. He's raged up his king, but my queen is taking him down quickly as well. The queen actually done seriously good in this raid. Unfortunately, they did manage the one star only. They didn't get into the town hall center, of course. It's impossible to get into that if you're attacking from the outside with the troops that he has. But those troops just have so many hit points, especially with the uh, added on features of the healers and the heal spells as well. He hasn't even used two of the heal spells. He was just able to make his way around the entire base. And in fact, he does make it into the center. You'll see shortly, but he just runs out of time. Obviously, giants are far too slow. And he manages to take my Dark Elixir as well. I completely forgot about that. 1500 DE later. And he manages to do it. So let's see how he does with these giants in the center. Let's speed it up a bit now. He's going in. I don't think that he's set off any of the bombs or stuff yet on this side of it. Has he? Oh, he has. So he must have. There we go. Big bomb, dumb belly, anything to them. So he would have actually uh, got the rest of the Dark Elixir. There was only 30 in there anyway. But he probably could have had the Town Hall if there was another minute added. So guys, this was the new troll base. I have another one in the making already. These are the funnest videos for me to make. I hope you're enjoying them too. Please show the support if you are and hit that like button below. This was, as I said, part inspired by White Lightning. It was a fantastic troll base and one of the most fun ones I've seen, especially the first raid. That was unbelievable, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already for daily videos. Hope you have a lovely day, guys. Peace out.